Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us humbly call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose strength of, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you more mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as your fellow workers, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, In unacceptable time I heard you, 
and on the day of salvation, I helped you. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. We cause no one to stumble in anything, in order that no fault may be found with our ministry. On the contrary, in everything we commend ourselves as ministers of God, through much endurance, in afflictions, hardships, constraints, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labors, vigils, fasts, by purity, knowledge, patience, kindness, in the Holy Spirit, in unfeigned love, in truthful speech, in the power of God, with weapons of righteousness at the right and at the left, through glory and dishonor, insult and praise. We are treated as deceivers and yet are truthful, as unrecognized and yet acknowledged, as dying and behold, we live, as chastised and yet not put to death, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet enriching many, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has made known His salvation. The Lord has made known His salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for Him, His holy arm. The Lord has made known His salvation. In the sight of the nations, He has revealed His justice. He has remembered His kindness and faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has made known His salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. The Lord has made known His salvation. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, Offer no resistance to the one who is evil. When someone strikes you on the right cheek, turn the other one to him as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, hand him your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go with him for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you, and do not turn your back on one who wants to borrow. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our gospel today, Jesus teaches us something that seems to be contrary to what is 
natural. When someone strikes us on the right cheek, the natural and immediate response is to strike back, to strike harder. Sinampal ka sa kanan, sampalin mo ng mas malakas. Do something that will teach the other person a lesson not to strike you back again. But Jesus said, No. When someone strikes you on the right cheek, offer your other cheek as well. What does Jesus mean by this? Definitely, Jesus is not telling us to allow ourselves to be abused and hurt. What Jesus means is this, that we should not return evil for evil, but we should instead return good for evil. In this way, if we return good for evil, then the cycle of evil, the cycle of retaliation, the cycle of vengeance and revenge is cut off. When we return evil for evil, then evil triumphs because it goes on and on. Ginawan ka ng masama, gagawan mo rin ng masama, hindi din na natapos ang kasamaan, nagtagumpay pa ang kasamaan. But if we return good for evil, then it is as if we pull the plug. Evil is ended. It is defeated by good. Goodness triumphs. St. Paul in our first reading today is an example of how it is to return good for evil. St. Paul admits how much sufferings and evils he endured. Afflictions, hardships, constraints, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labors, fasts. But how did Paul respond to these? Not by vengeance and malice, but he said, by purity, knowledge, patience, kindness, in the Holy Spirit, in unfeigned love, in truthful speech, in the power of God. My dear brothers and sisters, how do you respond to evil? When someone does you something wrong, how do you respond? When someone tries to destroy your reputation, do you, do you try to destroy the other person's reputation as well? When someone bashes you on social media, do you bash the person back? Kapag ginawan ka ng masama, humahanap ka ba ng paraan para gawin din, gawan din sila ng masama? Today, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus teaches us an important lesson. We can only defeat evil by doing good even to those who do us evil. Because when we return evil for evil, then we are no different from those who do evil. Pareho na rin tayo sa kanila. But when we return evil for good, then we show who we are. We show that we will not go down to their level. We show that we are stronger. We show that we are better. We show that we are true Christians.
Please stand. Our loving Father has been very good to us. Let us pray that His merciful love may mark our attitude towards everyone. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That as God's people, we may be able to live out Christ's love of love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may forgive our enemies and those who may have hurt or wronged us in any way. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That we may do away with division and selfishness, and that we may overcome evil by goodness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are hardened in sin may be touched by the Spirit of the Lord to repent and change their ways. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that our beloved dead may be brought safely home to the company of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We pray for the people who requested our prayers. And we also pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord of all people, as we pray for these intentions, help us to grow together and help us overcome hostility and conflict. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacraments. Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your Church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us all kneel and let us pray the fifth day of the Novena Prayers in honor of Our Lady of Antipolo. Mahal na ina at reyna ng mag-anak na Pilipino, kung saan nakasalalay ang uri ng aming lipunan, isinasamo namin sa iyo, kami ay ipagadya sa mga kaaway ng katawan namit kaluluwa. Tulungan mo kami nang hindi kami mahikayat ng mga kasalanan at masasamang hibo ng katawan. Tulungan mo kami talunin nawa namin ang lahat ng ito at kami ay magpilit tumulad sa kababaan ng iyong loob at kabanalan. At gayon din naman isinasamo namin na igawad mo sa amin ang aming ninanasa at hinihingi sa pagsisiyam na ito kung ito'y ukol sa kapurihan ng Diyos at kagalingan ng kaluluwa namin. Amen. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Yeah.